Hello and welcome to the second part of part 9 of this My Team series. So the last episode got promptly ended by my iPad dying. So last, in the first part of this episode, we did Brazil. So this time we're going to be doing our home race, the Australian Grand Prix. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are for a lap around Melbourne. Half of the YouTube scene in Australia is basically is selling out or have been forced to sell out. Believe me, there are some good YouTubers in Australia, but I can count them on ten fingers. Well, eight fingers and two thumbs, but... But yeah, anyway, that's beside the topic of today's video, so... Coming down to the first corner, you try and break as late as possible while you can still get a good exit while out of the, t out of the turn. As we come down towards the end of the second DRS zone on the circuit, into here... Take it, you need to just take it how I'm taking it so far because I think I'm doing a pretty good lap right now. Take this flat, don't lose much time through there like I have. We're 1.3 seconds ahead of George Russell through sector one, which shows I'm doing my stuff right. So now coming up to the chicane that doesn't exist anymore, you go through that area on the right now. The next time F1 comes to Melbourne, well, they can't this season because of COVID, but. But next time F1 comes to Australia. Now coming through this fast chicane, try not to get on that curve because it just auto spins you. Now we just come to the end of the third DRS zone, try and take this corner like I have. And then just break a little bit, the rest of this corner you can take flat out. Now down to the final turn, they're making this a little bit wider next time F1 comes to Australia. Anyway, if you've done everything right, you should get a pretty good lap. Just don't crash into the wall there. And we are going to set a 122.9. Okay, so that lap has put us into P19. Daniel Ricciardo not really performing well in that Red Bull. Uh, Kimi Ruckman then continuing from his podium at the last race with a P6 here in qualifying. Lewis Hamilton gets the pole. But yeah, let's get into our home race. Alright, so here we are on the grid, P19 as always, well not as always, but in our original position, no one's taken that much of a grid penalty, so I forgot to turn the manual starts back on because it's not been that long since I filmed the last episode, just had to charge the iPad, but anyway, away we go, we get an alright start, we can jump another shitter here, but, and we do, so... Now coming through here, we need to try and get back up closer to Giovinazzi so we can go for a move into turn three. But but Madashita is going to come back with a very ambitious move. P14, battle with Carlos Sainz for P13 now. But we get on the grass and we're still fighting with Giovinazzi for that position. We're going to try and get Russell through the flat out part here, but would be flat out if we weren't sub by side. But now moving on to Mick Schumacher who's in P16. So... Now we're going to use the overtake here and try and get him down the outside. We're going to try and bring him to the inside, but he's not making any move to defend here. So now we've got Yuki Tsunoda, the two Japanese drivers in front of us, battling it out for P14. So I'll be back when we catch up to them. So now here we are on lap 2. We've caught back up to Motoshita and Tsunoda. They've been going pretty slow as they've been battling each other for position, but Sonoda managed to get the better of Madashita here, but as we come onto the next straight, we're going to try and make a move. If we went this straight, we would have had contact, probably. But now we're going to use the overtake button here. We're going to try and get him coming into the, sh the fast-paced chicane. Hopefully he leaves us some room, but we just about can't... Get, it, get there. So we're going to try on this straight now. And we're close enough to make the move. And we get the move done here. So next up is the other Japanese driver in Sonoda. So now coming towards the end of lap 3. We've finally caught back up to Yuki Sonoda. It's taken a while because we've gathered some front wing damage. But this might be our last opportunity because of the wing damage. A bit Playing a bit rough and going into neutral accidentally. But we're not going to leave him any space. But he's going into the pit lane anyway. So... Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to catch up to Carlos Sainz, so I'll be back when there's a bit more action. So, as a result of our front wing damage, we've created a little bit of a train behind us, and our old teammate Matashita was coming at us. 
and we accidentally left him no space at all and he's just lost his wheel and he's gone and he nearly got Mick involved in that too. Alright, so coming towards the end of the race now, I've really had to nurture this front wing home. Um, I, I've been a bit aggressive with my moves and I didn't leave Matter Shit a space at that crash, but I but I thought I wasn't going to have any other opportunity to overtake Sonoda, so that's why I went for the move I did. But anyway, Max Verstappen comes home to win the race. Look at this massive train, if you can see the mini-map that we've formed behind us. But anyway, P14, nothing really happened except the crash. But it was still a good race in terms of position, not in terms of cleanness. But who's going to get driver of the day? Is it going to be us? Oh my god, no way! I can't believe it! What a surprise! Okay, so quickly before we end off, we've got a personnel department meeting. So we have an opportunity coming to book some time with Lucas Weber. Like, he's just a fictional character, but alright, if you want to get Esteban some time with Lucas Weber, then sure thing, we'll get Lucas Weber as part of our team. I just start the lineup. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed episode 9 and episode 9.5. It's basically two bite sized videos that can basically be made into one episode. But yeah, next up will be the finale of the series, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I should have it out like tomorrow, tomorrow or something, but we'll see. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.